<laughs> Man, hitting a baseball hard is extremely fun. Getting a lot of speed, letting it rip. You know, in today's video, I'm going to show you one very cool power trick that you can do in your load that's going to really jump up that bat speed. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, when we have members working through the pro speed hitting system or have my online students starting to work on stuff, making a lot of changes in their swing, one very important thing starts to stick out. And this happens with anybody who's trying to start to, to get better mechanics and start to work on things, is we start getting a little bit robotic. We start getting, you know, we have the load stride swing drill that's extremely crucial in almost everything we do when we're trying to learn new movements, where we load the hands, stride the foot, we pause from here, and now we can work on positioning. Now we can work on our hand path. We can work on lag. We can do drills. Lots of different things happen. Now, that robotic, that mechanical part has a huge role to play in getting your swing to a point where it's extremely efficient. But we can never neglect our athleticism, and that's what we're going to talk about in this video. If you know from the specialty lesson videos on the website, we talk about the complete hitter training, where we want to make sure we're training everywhere from our technique all the way to game time in the game and in between athleticism, load stride, swing drill, making sure that all these things encompass each other to become a complete hitter. We gotta have great technique with great athleticism. Now, that again, if we understand, we do want that mechanical aspect to our work, but when we're talking about transitioning from working on all these mechanical things to start being an athlete and applying some speed to it, we wanna make sure we have those things going in our swing. So we, this, in today's video, we're gonna talk about keeping some hand momentum in our load, keeping our hands moving. An object in motion stays in motion. That's a very important thing to understand in the world of physics. If something's already moving, it's going to keep moving unless we stop it somehow. And if our hands are moving, it's much easier to get moving hands going faster than it is for a still hand to go faster. And again, this is you know, for you guys that maybe are, are locked up a little bit. Maybe you're a little bit nervous to hit or maybe you're working really hard in your mechanics. This is very, very simple. So what you're gonna do, we can actually use this robotic uh, mechanical mindset to work on a little bit of rhythm. You know, this is something we're gonna be adding into the, the hitting system and making sure that our students are you know, really making sure that they are taking advantage of this. The whole reason I got this idea for this video is one of my online students tried this out and it just worked beautifully. I tried it out, worked on it, and it is an amazing thing to do. Now, big thing you have to keep in mind when you're moving your hands in this drill that I'm about to show you, you wanna make sure your hands stay in front of the vertical toe line. For those of you guys who don't know what that is, that's that imaginary line that we draw straight up out of the ground, out of our back toe, and we know from the speed load section, we wanna make sure our hands stay in front of the vertical toe line. And all we're gonna do right here, how we're gonna start this drill, is we're gonna get into our load stride position. So if you're just beginning, we wanna make sure we're using our beginning load stride where we load the hands, then stride the foot. If you're in the more advanced load stride position, we're gonna be more game speed where we load stride, then we're gonna pause. So let me get my T set up here. We're gonna load stride, we're gonna pause, and what I want you to do is just, with your own natural athleticism, get a little bit of movement in your hands. Mine right here, I like to feel my hands just kind of moving in a little bit of a circle. Some guys like a little bit of bat wiggle. Some guys like to kind of have their hands do this, or whatever, You're just get a little bit of movement. It doesn't have to be a lot. It can just be a very minimal amount. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, just a little bit of movement. Right there, keep your hands in front of the toe line, kind of feel your movement and then hit the ball. Most importantly, this is where you need to make sure you're very disciplined. You need to make sure your hands go to the ball from in front of the toe line because when you get some movement, this is a little bit more advanced, when you start getting some movement in the hands, so I'm gonna load stride, it's, you're gonna have this tendency to wanna feel like you wanna pull it back to get some more power. Again, this is a power drill, but the first phase of this drill is to start getting used to having some momentum before your hands go to the ball. So the first part of this drill is not a power drill, it's so that we can get more power in our full swing. So from the down the line view, I'm gonna load stride, have a little bit of movement in my hands, and then make sure my hands go to the ball from in front of the toe line. Now after we get a good feel for that, we can start making some swings. You'll see, you'll, you'll, you'll naturally have a little bit more speed because those hands are already moving, start implementing that into your load when you're taking some game speed swings. So I'm gonna take some game speed swings here on the tee. I'm gonna make sure I have a little bit of, little bit of movement in my setup, kind of presetting that. And then when I get into my load, I'm gonna make sure I keep my mind on keeping my hands moving. So I'm gonna keep my hands moving and then make my swing. And you'll see that when those hands move, you're gonna start developing your own little feel for where that bat is. I'll show you one more here from down the line. 
And keep in mind, we're keeping our hands in front of that toe line the entire time. So I'm gonna go ahead, take a game speed swing, keep some momentum in my hands, and make some swings. Wow, I got that one pretty darn good. So guys, keep a little bit of movement. Object in motion stays in motion. You're gonna be able to get that back going so much faster and really let it rip. Thank you so much guys for tuning into this video, but stay tuned, I got an even better bonus video coming up for you. You know, everything that we talk about in the Pro Speed Hitting System and on the YouTube channel complements into really being efficient all the way around. Keeping that momentum in the hands is great. Getting the momentum to go into the proper bat lag position is gonna be even better. In the bonus video, we're gonna play you the wall drill. It's gonna show you how to get into that bat lag position perfectly if you follow the directions of the drill. It's an awesome video. You can check that out by clicking on the iCard or in the, description, the link in the description below. You can see that whole video absolutely free. Thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you guys soon. Today I'm going to show you the number one move that kills bat lag. But most importantly, we're going to do a drill that will instantly give you a tight transition into bat lag and have your swing look, looking drastically better today. The move that I'm talking about here is when we're going into our transition and the bat lays down and now the only thing that we have to rely on for bat speed is our pure swing from Mike Trout. He does this really, really well. You'll see as we pause him here in the max bat lag position, his barrel is really high and you can see that it's barely dipping into that line. You can imagine if this was a nail and this bat was a hammer, if I was trying to hammer this nail in like this, this would be kind of like me dumping the bat. But if I'm letting this hammer swing and slam into this ball over and over again, I'm gonna be very, very efficient. Now, I'm sure you guys are ready for it by now. Let's go ahead and dive into the wall drill. All right, guys, here we go, the wall drill.